That was uh, about 2016, 2016, there was a incident in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where um, five black youth were walking home from the Croc Center playing basketball and the police pulled them over. They were you know, walking home. These kids ranged between the ages of 12 and 14, um, jumped out of the car, guns pointed at the kids, had them laying face down on the ground. And on the video um, from the body cam video, you could audibly hear these kids sobbing and crying and saying, I don't want to die today. What did I do wrong? I want my mom. You know, can you please stop pointing the gun at us? So watch this video. Of course, um, at this point, I was a new dad of a son. So, it, you know, it spoke to me personally. We've had feedback that people just didn't know this was an issue because it didn't happen in their backyard or to their kids. But they're starting to realize that there's something else going on in society and that if we really want equality, then that also means we really need to think about equality starting as young as childhood. Um, but I was watching our professional listserv of uh, leisure faculty across the, the, really not just the country, but across the, you know, the globe. And we were engaged in all kinds of other discussions, um, but at no point did anyone ever raise this issue. What does this mean for our field? When we say recreation is something that should be a benefit for all. And so that started a conversation among my colleagues across universities in this country. Uh, Dr. Harrison then turned around and called myself at Texas A&M University at that time, Dr. Razul Mowat at Indiana University, and Dr. Myron Floyd at North Carolina State University. And so the four of us got together and uh, decided to expand it beyond just the Grand Rapids, Michigan incident to look at other uh, recent occurrences where black youth were simply engaged in um, what teenagers should be doing, playing, you know, at the swimming pool, at the park, you know, at the rec center, um, but we're having negative um, interactions. And the only crime was their presence. It wasn't that they had uh, broken any rules. It wasn't that they had violated any, um, any code of conduct. It was simply they were in the space that it was determined they should not be in. And so that started our journey and the whole idea of playing while black. This paper has been um, more validating of our work and, and, um, and our, our goals than anything else that we have written. This is a paper that we are finding is being read by communities and um, community leaders. We've been able to begin conversations in communities across the nation to really begin to think about what childhood really means and that every child has the right to play. That play provides social, emotional, physical, actual development to make them into productive adults.